Okay, good morning. Welcome to this session on uh, Kleber University for Data Lineage Diagrams in 5.1. There's a whole lot of new things that we can uh, do today. Data Lineage Diagrams, let's talk about the importance of that in the overall context as people find, understand, and trust their data. Diagrams is really how people think. Showing tables of assets with their relations really is not good enough. You have to visualize that and then you can collaborate on that. And that is why diagrams is a key component, not just of 5.1, but also of the releases coming after. You see that in this, this roadmap for the, the rest of this year and the beginning of next year, diagrams is uh, front and center of all of those releases. Okay, so we uh, split the work up in four themes. First one is makeover uh, to improve the style and substance of the diagrams. And in that, first one is uh, a particular specific colors and symbols for each asset type to improve the, the recognizability of the types on all of the diagrams. We also worked on optimizing uh, the layout uh, to fit larger diagrams on the screen. There is a new toolbar with more options and a right-click menu with more options to integrate, uh, to interact with uh, the individual nodes on the diagram. And uh, the diagram views themselves are now using the same uh, view bar with the same sharing as asset tables so you can share a diagram with uh, specific users or groups or roles. So that's the first theme. The second theme is the navigation theme. So diagrams can get pretty large and we looked at ways of reducing the overall volume and allowing the user to interact with the diagram or to dive into uh, more detail. So you can start a diagram at a more condensed level Instead of starting at the, the most detailed column level, you can start at, the, for example, at the, the, the table or the scheme or even the system level. And then the diagram itself is reduced uh, uh, in terms of uh, number of nodes. And then the user can drill into those individual nodes to look at details that he's interested in. You can also cut the diagram in half to look at only the, the incoming side of uh, where the data came from or only the outgoing side where the, the data is being used. Um, and uh, as a, a third option there is um, the explore feature now allows you to explore individual relation types rather than all or nothing. Per relation type you see the number of occurrences of that relation type before you add them to the diagram. And then uh, as a last option in navigation you can trace the paths between two nodes. You select two nodes, and then you can hi either highlight all the paths between them, or you crop everything else uh, off the diagram, only focusing on the paths between those two. So that's the navigate. Um, overlays, we had them in, in 5.0, but now we have more uh, characteristics that you can use as overlays. Basically everything that you can see is a column in a table, for an asset you can now also use as an overlay. So status, responsibilities, tags, each of those things are uh, available as overlays, not just on assets, but also on complex relations. And then the last but not least theme is the, the new view editor. You used to have to edit the views in a JSON format with very uh, complicated syntax. And now there is a graphical editor that allows you to just add uh, nodes and edges in a graphical form in the, in the view way easier. So let's move over to demo.